Hey everyone, Wyatt here with OVM. Today I'm working on several bikes. The first one's gonna be a 2004 Yamaha V-Star 1100. Uh, previous customer did, um, previous owner did a bunch of custom work to it. And now my customer bought it from him and it's not starting, not running right. However, it's been sitting. So we're definitely gonna get into the carbs. He gave me a carb rebuild kit. Um, come take a look at the bike. So this is a uh, V-Star 1100. So it's got um, the custom air filter, uh, pipes, and then it's missing a side cover. I don't know if the, my customer has it or not. Definitely gonna start by disconnecting the negative battery cable, taking off the seat, and then the tank. Uh, we're gonna need to get to the carburetors under here, um, take them out, get them all the way out on the bench. Okay, everyone, so I pulled the seat off, which is one bolt. And then underneath the seat was a Dyna 3000. Uh, the customer, my customer didn't mess with it. The previous owner started messing with all these switches on the back. So I'm gonna have to go on the website and figure out the switch locations for this V-Star 1100. Um, basically they control RPM limits and the advanced curve for the ignition. Now, um, pretty straightforward. And then the customer told me when he pricked it up, that the previous owner started messing with all these, so I definitely have to look that up real quick. All right, so I gotta get the tank off. This is gonna be 12 millimeters. So, let's pull this off right here. I'm trying not to crack it. There we go. I think I was gonna have to put on the All right, so I'm going to have to take this filter off, probably a three. Get this off to get to the center bolt here. This off should get the filter all the way out, out of the way. There we go. Come right down here and loosen. There's basically the whole intake. Part of the intake anyways. Well, you have your carburetors here, and you're gonna have these two boots, the boot and a boot on the other side. So I'm going to take this and loosen up this screw right here. Because we're gonna pull this whole box off of the top. Tanks off. I'm gonna pull this up, get this out of the way. Now I have access to the carburetors. Okay, now that's off. We have um, greater access to get in here. Um, this is gonna be your choke. Now, what I'm gonna have to do is get these uh, boots out of the way, too. These are Label one and two. Two is on the right, one's on the left. Remember, one's on the one's on the left, two's on the right. As you're sitting on the bike. So at this point you can actually see the the fuel lines coming down. And we can remove this piece right here, get it out of our way. On this side, you can see the line is already up. Like they didn't even put the clamp back on. Boo hiss. Boo. Let's pull that line out of the way. I'm gonna go that way with the carbs anyways. So I'm not worried about taking this piece off because we're gonna go that way because the Linkages are on that side. So we got the carb heater and the TPS sensor uh, cables. At this point, I can actually get in there with a 10 millimeter and get these uh, throttle linkages off. So 
So you just loosen this, and this will come out like this. The cable will come out, and you can get it around and down. Let me tighten this back down. And now you have all the cables out of your way. Three. And loosen these up here. So if you can kind of see what I'm going to do now, um, this will shift like this. Should. It's going to be a pain probably. There we go. Okay. Then. Come out this left side. Drip some fuel, of course. All right. There, so slide out the left side. Drip a little bit of fuel. Gotta clean that up. All right, team. We're gonna get this taken apart. I'm gonna try to do it from an angle where you can see uh, pretty well. Okay, so. In this model, you know, the main jet right here, this is the starter jet for the uh, choke, quote unquote choke and richener. And this is going to be the pilot right here. Pull the pilot out and have a look at it. Check numbers. See if it's at the right settings. Okay, so I'm just going to take the um, main jet out here. So you can see where it had been sitting. See all this build up right here? While I'm here, I'm gonna pull the float off, out. This is the screw. And pull the float up. I want to look at, look at this guy right here. like doesn't look too bad I'm also gonna pull this guy out here because the rebuild kit right here will have a new one ah nice so some kind of something on this thing. Ah, must have not sealed right. They put like this put thread tape over it for some reason. It's trying to get it to seal. Well, good thing we have new ones. Alright, I got a whole new kit to install. All new um, bolts and everything. So here's your new piece. Just goes right in here. Then push it down in there. This is just going to hold this in place for us. All new float needle. We'll just slide right back here you come with new pilot jets I'm going to go back in with the main jet here. Uh, I did make a mistake, so I will fix my mistake here. So my mistake was I need to take the pilot jet back out. And then we need to see what the um, fuel setting is set at. 
half. One, one and a half. Two, two and a half. Three. Instead of three. So I'll pull this guy out. Have to flip it over. So not all of it came out. Um, there's actually a replacement for this piece now. Uh, it's pretty neat. The, the kit came with a brand new one. So now that I pulled out the uh, idle circuit adjustment, I'm use a little pick. All right, I'll go in here. Maybe. There's one. That's the washer. There's an O-ring in there too. Alright, so once you get that little friggin' O-ring out, go ahead and replace it and um, put the new piece back in. It's very small. Spring. Go spring, metal piece, and then the O-ring. Put it back in. So we go all the way down. And we go half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. That's it. And with that three, right, I'm gonna feel in here. I wanna feel the air flow through the system. I know the fuel is going to flow. If the air is going to flow, the fuel is going to flow. Put the pilot jet back in. Double check everything you did. Okay, so I have brand new gaskets for this, so I can just take my little pin here. It doesn't matter if you break them. They're old, brittle, they're junk. Get rid of them. Install your new gasket. Bolt it down, make sure you didn't pinch the gasket anywhere. So if we put this piece back on. So because it has this piece coming out, the screw going in is going to be slightly longer. If you don't go too tight, obviously you don't want to screw them in the next guy to get them snug. Alright, so you get your needle all cleaned up. You're going to put uh, your washer, um, stock spacer, another washer on top, and the clip. Okay, get it in there, slide it down. And take this part. Use your needle nose. Nice and easy to put it in. Either click. All right, this should move a little bit. A tiny bit. You got a little rinky dinky o ring that goes right there. And you can slide the, slide the slide. Just take care that it gets in the groove here. The spring back in. So you see this little hole right here that's going to go where the o-ring is. This kit came with new bolts. Put our new bolts in. Then verify your slide moves up and down freely. Did that side, same thing on this side. Additional leak in the roof up there.
a little uh, fine. There it goes. There she goes. There we go. There she is. Tighten these clamps back up now. That's idling, that's that's number uh, normal setting on this thing. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what we should do it to, but I'm happy. There's some magic. Perfect. Perfect.